Hey everybody, Scott Sprott here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday, March 25th, 2019. Free pick coming up in college baskets in a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a try. It's a real cool way uh, to do so. You click on the link below this video, you get set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages, or anybody else for that matter, over at DocSports.com. Real cool way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below the video and get started with that free $60 account. Coming up, a nice Big Dance weekend at 3-1 with all college basketball Big Dance plays released on Saturday and again on Sunday. And it was a six-unit premium pick sweep in the Big Dance this weekend. Uh, started out with Michigan on Saturday, won again on Sunday. Uh, so a real nice way to close the weekend. And uh, we'll look to keep that going uh, over the next few days. Now on Monday slate, I don't have a premium pick in college basketball. There's a few games, some CBI games and an NIT game, and I'm going to get to one of those in just a moment as our free opinion. Uh, but as far as premium picks over at DocSports.com, it's all about the NBA and the NHL for us on Monday. Uh, NBA now, after yesterday's easy win with the Pacers, they were getting a point and a half. They beat Denver outright by 36 points, nothing like a 37 and a half point cover in pro basketball. We're now 10-2 and two with our last 12 NBA plays, and we're up about $2,700 for those wagering just $100 per unit during this current run. Uh, don't miss out because on Monday morning, you'll be able to get my next four-unit knockout play in Monday's basketball. It'll be posted Monday morning, DocSports.com. Again, we won yesterday's four-unit knockout with the Indiana Pacers. Easy winner. Let's do it again on Monday. Also back in NHL action, we passed uh, yesterday's slate, but we'll attempt our fourth straight win on the ice. Look to take our long-term run to 88 and 67 with an NHL play on Monday's card. Again, just like the NBA, that'll be posted on Monday morning at DocSports.com. As far as college basketball, not involved in Monday's games. There's, a, like I said, a few CBI games and an IT game. we got a free pick in college baskets coming up in just a moment. Uh, but I will be back in big dance action, and those plays will be available on Thursday morning at DocSports.com. In between Monday and Thursday, Tuesday, I think, you know, might be back in action in the NIT college basketball insider and we'll let you know on these videos if we do jump back in back in i expect to I, I just don't have a play on monday in college baskets it's all about the nba and the nhl so be sure to go grab that especially in the nba just red hot right now and going all the way back to january 2nd we've been on a nice nba run uh, before we get to the free pick real quick note uh, the brackets i know a lot of brackets that got busted i'm looking at mine right now and fortunately have 14 of the 16 remaining teams uh, the only teams that I don't have that lost over the first couple of days, I, I had Kansas State advancing to play Virginia. As you know, they're out because Oregon will be playing Virginia. And I had New Mexico State actually getting all the way to the Sweet 16 to take on North Carolina. And we know that New Mexico State lost to Auburn in their opening game. We did have Auburn, by the way, on Saturday as one of our premium picks. Easy winner over the Kansas Jayhawks. But uh, those are the only two out of the 16 spots that we don't have, 14 out of 16 thus far and the way we look the rest of the way we got in the east duke taking on michigan state in the elite eight gonzaga taking on texas tech uh, virginia taking on tennessee north carolina uh, taking on kentucky so as far as the elite eight and the final four we got all our teams left to go feeling pretty good so far about our bracket and our championship game in our main bracket we've got virginia knocking off the duke blue devils but we sure wouldn't have minded seeing duke lose yesterday uh, to Central Florida. Boy, did UCF have their chances at the end. A couple of the tips that just fell out of the rim. Looked like they were going in. Didn't quite get their Duke escapes. And, of course, they'll play Virginia Tech next. And I wanted to talk real quickly. It's early, but some of the public action that's come in on Thursday and Friday's big dance games. The four games on Thursday, three of them, are, are pretty close to being split down the middle so far, 50-50, uh, as far as tickets written are concerned. But there is one team, one side, that's getting some play. 62% of the tickets uh, in the Virginia-Oregon game are currently on the Virginia Cavaliers, who are laying seven and a half. Saw so an eight or two out there, a couple of eights late Sunday night, early Monday morning, but mostly seven and a half Virginia right now getting a little bit over 60% of the tickets. The other three games so far on Thursday, pretty even as far as the ticket count is concerned. Friday, the public's heavy on Michigan State over LSU. Virginia Tech plus the points over Duke. 82% of the, of the uh, tickets are on Kentucky uh, minus the points over Houston. And about 60% of the tickets are on North Carolina minus the points over Auburn. So again, on Friday's card, public heavy on Michigan State, 
Virginia Tech, Kentucky, and North Carolina again on Thursday. Just one game showing some significant difference, and that would be on Virginia. So we'll keep you up to date on the public betting, even the sharp betting, uh, as we get closer to the games on Thursday. We'll, we'll update this each and every night over the next few days. By the way, I wanted to mention before we get to the free pick, don't forget about Major League Baseball, guys. We are three days away from opening day for all but two teams. Oakland and Seattle, of course, opened the season last week in Japan. We saw some pretty shabby pitching by both teams. Uh, we weren't involved in either game, but we will be involved opening day in baseball as we normally are. And uh, again, we're just three days away, so go grab those baseball packages at DocSports.com. Last three months of the baseball season last year, I hit about 66% of my releases in baseball and we gained over $7,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. Go check it out at DocSports.com. Free college basketball on Monday. Our opinion is on Norfolk State, plus the points getting about 14.5 over Colorado. Numbers come down a little bit. We agree with the movement. Hey, Norfolk played really well after dropping down by 10 points in the first half against Bama in their first game in the tournament. They closed it to seven by halftime, made it reasonable, then came back, took the game to overtime where they beat the Alabama Crimson Tide, and Alabama's coach Avery Johnson was shown the door, given his exit papers after that game. But listen, Norfolk was strong on the glass. They took care of the basketball while they forced Bama into committing 16 turnovers. And over the last several games, five, six games, the Spartans have been much better at handling the basketball. They're averaging about 11 turnovers per game, which is better than their season average. Uh, they're forcing about 14, over 14 turnovers per game in their last five or six games, and they're playing a solid brand of defense. They also come in, Norfolk, with a balanced offensive effort. They've got six players averaging between about 14 and a half points per game and a little over eight points per game. And then they got a guard by the name of Stephen Whitley who gets everybody involved. I agree with the movement on this one. Early movement on Norfolk State plus the points, and that's our free opinion for Monday night. College basketball team 601, Norfolk State plus the points over Colorado. All right, listen, again, if, you, uh, like, like if you're into the NBA, if you're into winning in the NBA, all you got to do is go to DocSports.com on Monday morning, grab my NBA uh, knockout for Monday night. We look to go to 11-2 and two with our last 13 NBA plays and go up over $3,000 for $100 per unit betters during the run. Also in the NHL, we look for our fourth straight NHL win, all available Monday at DocSports.com. <clears throat> all right, listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites at DocSports.com. I'll be right back here Tuesday around 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific. Let's put Monday in the win column.